All right, friends, chapter 250. One of JJK has been released. And brother, we have been told very well in this how exactly Yuta copied Sukuna's techniques. But before moving forward, let me tell you that I won't show any photos of this chapter in this video. I don't want to go to jail. So let's get started. So chapter begins with Yuta, revealing that he copied Sukuna's curse technique by using the last remaining Sukuna finger. This means that either Yuta or Raika has consumed this finger. We were all making so many predictions that Sukuna Yuna's last finger is Yuji himself, but all of that was wrong. Both Yuji and Yuta engage in close level combat with Sukuna beating the shit out of him. Yuji is highly determined to end everything with this last chance. He even spits his blood at Sukuna's face as an attack. Yuji tells himself that this is the last chance to defeat Sukuna and bring back Megumi. Raika grabs hold of Sukuna and slams him down while Yuji lands a kick on Sukuna. At the same time, Sukuna realizes that his curse energy output and control over Megumi's body has gotten pretty dull. To counterattack, Sukuna disables Hollow Whisker Basket and plans to unleash World Cutting Slash while trying to take damage from Angel's Jacob Ladder. But Yuji and Yuta has already predicted that Sukuna would make such plan. They try to tie up Sukuna hands while continuing to attack Sukuna. Then Yuta notices that Sukuna's slashes are getting weaker and decides to move closer towards Sukuna without fearing. This means that Sukuna is gradually losing control over Megumi's body, causing his cursed energy to become inactive. In other words, Megumi is gaining consciousness. And then suddenly, Yuta cuts off one of Sukuna's arms and Yuji makes the blood, which he had spit on Sukuna's face, explode. This confirms that Yuji possesses powers of soul manipulation along with blood manipulation. Then, cut to a flashback of the angel and Hana talking with Yuji, and Yuji is talking about the ability for his punches to maybe separate the souls of Sukuna and Megumi. He's been learning a lot from from Yuki's book on the soul. So the angel says, if you can separate the souls, then our technique could be of big help here because our technique will erase cursed techniques. So we can destroy the cursed object that is within Megumi. So if their souls are desynchronized when we do that, that has the highest chance of Megumi's survival. So the whole plan revolves around Yuji getting his licks in and then hitting Sukuna with the angel's technique. And as we know, Sukuna just released the hollow wicker basket. So the sure hit effect of Yuta's domain, angel's cursed technique Jacob's Ladder starts raining down upon Sukuna. While Rika and Yuji grabs hold of Sukuna's arms, Yuta activates Angel's curse technique Maxim Output, Jacob's Ladder. We can see Sukuna burnt crisp after receiving that attack. Yuji moves back and hits Sukuna with his soul attack punch while saying, wake up Fushiguro. Yuji had calculated everything precisely but Megumi's soul no longer had the will to live. Yuji sees Megumi repeatedly saying, I don't care anymore. The narrator then tells us that even though Yuji and Yuta's plan was solid, their calculations were correct. Megami just has lost the will to live. Following this, there is just an all-black panel that contains the chance for Sukuna's world cutting slash. We then cut back to reality, and we see Yuta getting absolutely destroyed by this slash that Sukuna just cast. He looks like he's okay, but he got caught up pretty bad. We also see Rika and Yuji getting hit by these slashes, and Yuta's domain shatters. The last page of the chapter is Meiki finally freaking shows up. The narrator says that Sukuna is convinced of his victory, but then we have the zero cursed energy demon join the fray. Maki pierces Sukuna with her soul splitter katana, and that was the end of the chapter. Narrator criticizes Sukuna, Sukuna saying for falling for the surprise attack by Maki. It's a common practice among jujutsu sorcerers and a mediocre plan, which could have been easily avoidable by Sukuna. Editors comment at the end of JJK 251, a thirst of sword from a demon with no cursed energy. Unfortunately, there's a break next week. But damn, what a chapter. We got confirmation that the 20th finger was eaten, and we got confirmation that Yuji has blood manipulation. But let me know your all thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you with another amazing video until then. Goodbye.